Given that the Winter Olympics just finished, I thought an analysis of one of the events would be pretty cool. Although physics is a part of all of the events, we'll be looking at bobsled, which is called bobsleigh everywhere other than Canada and America. Weird. There are four main aspects that contribute to a team winning or losing. Acceleration, drag, friction, and momentum. Acceleration. Even though the race is on a slant, acceleration due to gravity is the same for all teams because it's a constant on Earth, 9.8 meters per second squared. Drag. When air passes around the bobsled, it creates drag. This drag slows the bobsled down. To minimize drag, teams use wind tunnels and even computer simulations to make their bobsleds as aerodynamic as possible. Friction. Contrary to popular belief, bobsleigh, luge, and skeleton do not use blades to glide down the track. They all use thin metal runners, but they are not sharpened like blades are. They are actually incredibly smooth. There isn't much friction between smooth metal and ice, but in an event where first and second are often only separated by a few hundredths of a second, it matters. Another interesting factor to consider is that each run down the track scrapes the ice, which means runs later on have to overcome more friction than the earlier ones did. Despite this, the highest ranked teams run last and almost always win. Momentum easily expressed as mass multiplied by velocity. Momentum can be thought of as how difficult it is to slow down or stop an object. Teams try to maximize this. To make sure that teams don't just pile on extra weight, also called ballast, or have an extremely heavy sled, there are limits as to how heavy the sleds can be on their own and with the whole team inside of it. Teams are weighed at the bottom of the track after each run. A final thought to consider is how teams take turns. The higher a team steers, the easier it is to make the turn but the more distance the team will travel, taking more time. If teams try to steer too low on the turn though, they will crash. Teams crash when the runners are at too harsh an angle to the turn. This is most commonly seen as teams go into turns as opposed to when they come out. All in all, one of the only things that's for sure is that it's always going to be a close race.